ESPN senior writer Chris Lowe spent part of last week embedded in the Alabama program as it tries to manage the realities of football in the age of COVID-19. Here's Lowe with Nick Saban. Hey, I'm here on campus at the University of Alabama with head football coach Nick Saban. Nick, this is your 25th year as a head coach at the collegiate level, but have you learned more this year in this preseason and offseason than ever before? Well, I think I've learned a lot about how to adapt to change because we've obviously had a lot of uncertainty, um, but I think it's been challenging. Uh, I think the players have responded to it in a really positive way, and I'm just glad that they have an opportunity to create value for themselves this year by having the opportunity to play. Here at Alabama, you guys have taken a step to test your players daily. How big a difference has that made, and has it enabled you on the practice field to continue to practice the way you want to? We've actually tested more probably than any school in the country. We were testing twice a day at the beginning of the summer and now testing every day. So when they go on the practice field, they know the guy that they're practicing against uh, does not have an issue, which means we don't have to change things a lot on the field, which helps their development and their opportunity to play well when we get when that time comes. Were you happy to see the Big Ten's going to play this year? So more representative of all the college football for the players and just the fact that you're going to have those teams all represented. Well, I think it's great for the players. Uh, I know how hard players work. I don't care if you're playing at Kent State or Ohio State, but I'm also pleased that the more people that play this year, uh, the more holistic this season becomes. Uh, and I think that's the way we, we all would like for it to be. You've not had any players opt out. What's it say about your culture? Well, I think they, it goes back to that word trust. You know, they, they, they trust the, the medical staff, and I think they understand that they came here to create value for themselves so that they could elevate their chances of being more successful in life, personally, academically, and athletically, by what they can accomplish here. I'll ask you finally, you know, the season's almost here. Was there a point where you were really concerned that there was going to be a football season? There was, I think a couple weeks before we were started, ready to start camp when some of the other leagues started to opt out. Um, and I do think it was really important that the players themselves, Trevor Lawrence, Najee Harris, that whole group of guys that came out and said how much they wanted to play. I'm just so happy and pleased that they are going to have that opportunity now. For more, we're joined now by ESPN senior writer Chris Lowe. Chris, you spent all this time with the program. How would you describe Alabama's approach to player and staff safety, and what are the numbers, the testing numbers, telling us? Jeremy, about like they've always approached things under Nick Saban there since he's been there. I mean, they, they've not left any stone unturned. They've spared no expense. In the last two weeks, their positivity rate on positive tests have been under – 1%. And, and keep in mind, that's not just players, that's staff, that's trainers, that's student managers. You're talking about 250 people who somehow touched the football program. And they've been testing players now in Alabama for more than two weeks on a daily basis. Uh, so they, you know, they brought in, well, they didn't bring him in, but they had the Surgeon General speak to the team via Zoom. Uh, they rented an echocardiogram to have on site. Uh, Saban has talked to the players. He's talked to parents. They've tried to do everything they possibly could to make the players comfortable and make it as safe as they possibly can. What do you think it's like for Nick Saban, Chris, um, a creature of habit such as Saban, adapting at 68 to this reality? Well, he is a creature of habit. And, and I'll say this about Nick. You know, Nick is as old school as it gets. I mean, he has core beliefs and values that are never, ever going to change. But he's been a master at evolving and adapting over the years, not only for the game of football, but with players, the way he relates to players, the way he connects. Uh, he told me that all good coaches better listen and hear their players. But I think he has learned and said this year he has tried harder than ever to listen to his players. Alabama, Jeremy, did a, an anonymous survey. Uh, Veteran trainer Jeff Allen's the one that conducted it. They wanted to know, hey, are we missing anything? Is there something else we need to be doing that we're not doing? And they got all sorts of responses. So, again, Saban is one of those guys that he's going to adapt. He's going to evolve. And I think that's when you look across the board at that program, 
uh, not just on the field but off the field. That's been a uh, it's been a hallmark for Alabama football under Nick Saban. He's one of the oldest head coaches in college football. He's been appearing in PSAs, urging people to wear masks. How is he managing his own risk factors and what has been shaping his views on the pandemic? Well, he's certainly aware of it. But now keep in mind, Nick doesn't go anywhere, certainly this time of year. He's at the office or he's at home with Miss Terry. So it's not like he's out and about anywhere. I think the one thing he told me, the one story he shared with me that has sort of helped him wrap his hands around everything, is Nick's mom, Mary, is in a senior living community in Birmingham. And only recently, until recently, has Nick been able to visit with her where he's not had to visit with her through a glass window. She's now able to come out on the porch. They sit about 10 feet apart and talk. Uh, and he said that really has sort of helped him, or it's resonated with him, that just how serious this is. And just how wide-reaching and far-reaching this disease, is, this this virus has been, and I think that has helped him as you look at it through other people's eyes and different perspectives. But uh, no, he's careful. He wears a mask. He's not around people much, other than the fact that when he's on the practice field. But I went into one of those meetings, and they're actually meeting Jeremy in one of their big team auditoriums, and they've got guys spread out all over the place, his staff. So it's uh, they've changed yeah. a lot of things, but they have not changed what they do on the practice field. And I think that, again, goes back to their planning, the fact that they're testing every day. But it looks like a Nick Saban practice has looked, and I've seen a bunch of them over the years, the last 13 years, fast, fast physical, a lot of contact, and doing things 100 miles an hour all the time. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.